who do you think is doing a good video? Tell Good video. There's a few. Yourself. If you talked to me about my business a year and a half ago, there's a pretty good chance that you heard me shit talk Jeremiah Oshwald. Not because he's a bad person, not because he's bad at his job, but because I was jealous and insecure. I'm happy to say that these days I really like Jeremiah. So for this week's Lex Rocks, I sat down with him at Cup of Commonwealth and we had a conversation. Just two local video guys. So I'm here at Cup Commonwealth with Jeremiah Oshwald, uh, who I just spent 15 minutes calling Joshua on tape and we had to redo. <laughs> Jeremiah is uh, known locally as Beard House Media, and it's, people do call you Beard House. They call me Beard House. In my house, we call you Beardo sometimes. I've heard that before. You get that one. So um, he, Jeremiah does video production, and um, he, he's kind of a part of my story because when I started my own business two years ago, I kind of looked around the local landscape and said, okay, who's doing video production? And the guy I saw the most of saw your work, your logo is out there everywhere, where it was you. And so I kind of decided this guy's my competition. And more than that, I decided this guy was my my enemy. You, were, I tried to cast you as the bad guy in my story. And I'm happy to say you were not happy with that. At first, it was vice versa. It, okay. it was, yeah. Okay, I, so for a little while, there was a little animosity, maybe? Oh, there was only so many. There was only four clients in this town, and I wanted them all. <laughs> gotcha. Well, good. I bet it wasn't just me. But at some point, I put on Facebook that I was looking for a cabin to shoot in. And you called me and said, "Hey, man, I got one. I'll sit. I'll set you up." And so that kind of made an impression. And I kind of think from there, the the animosity kind of started to fade. And um, hopefully, we both recognize that one of us succeeding does not mean the other one not succeeding. Not at all. That there's enough business and enough success in this town for everybody, and we are better uh, as collaborators than competitors. Yes. And yes. So, so I'm happy. I'm happy that that's changed. There is enough business in this town. For anybody who wants to even come in, it. more people. More people. Okay, good. But hopefully not. But no, don't come. Yeah, no more but, than us. But just in case. Yeah. Uh, so a large, a large part of what you're doing now, maybe all of what you're doing now, more or less, is real estate video. I do a little bit for Mayor Twin Brewing and maybe one other, but yeah, it's it's all mostly you're doing properties, and so so that view has become largely about drone video and then stabilized camera walkthroughs. Yes, it's all 100%. You know. Property tours, you know, commercial, residential, just land, and it's kind of exploded. And so I think it's safe for me to say this because I heard you say it on a podcast the other day. Seven figures this year? I wish. Six figures. Six figures. <laughs> I told you, I have a legitimate learning disability. Um, so seven figures next year, this year, six That figures. is the goal, yes. That's still incredible. Six figures, nothing to see that. That's incredible in this market, I think. Very lucky so, this year, yes. So it's. Micho Grass, yes. It's, it was unexpected. I think I told him before I record this was mom's the bookkeeper. You know, she said, Here, here's what you made this year, profit and loss. And I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Because now you add those two together. I was like, oh, well, crap. <laughs> more more loss than profit, but. Sure, yeah, but you know. still, it all came in. Yes, yeah, correct. So, so having done non real estate, just commercial work, and then doing real estate, what are the differences? What's what's harder? What's easier? What's well, they're different price points, so I, I wouldn't say easier because what I do is now pretty streamlined. It's rinse and repeat. I eat, I shoot each house the same way. It's the houses that are different. Gotcha. Trying to show them in a unique way is the hardest part. For for stuff like you do, you have to create the kind. You pretty much have to give guidance, create the kind. Starting over every time. Exactly from scratch, especially when you're trying to you walk a new place and try to figure out what their story is. Yeah. It's a house. Which, I know what that story is. <laughs> which which I've, I've tried to do a little bit of real estate stuff, and it didn't it didn't suit me very well. And I think honestly that's the difference. Is I thrive on I really enjoy like going in some place and helping somebody figure out what their story is. Yeah. But it like the profit margin and the amount of sidewalk pounding you have to do to make that happen is exhausting. So it started slow, and then finally just boom, there it was. And I realized I was in the middle of it. And yeah, from there it's been nothing. So I've told people before, the majority of who I work with are musicians and chefs, and yeah. to a lot of people's surprise, chefs are a lot harder to work with than musicians. I can see that. Are real estate agents hard to work with? 
Some are, some aren't. It's usually the older ones who don't get what's going on, who've been just doing it forever. They do great work, but they've just been, you know, they don't touch social media. They don't. A little slow to. Slow to get get the concept, but you know, one or two in, and they're they're, they're flying along with it. So. Gotcha. Okay. So what was it that? Uh, where did your story begin? What pushed? What was the inciting event that pushed you into video production? Because you didn't. You didn't go to school for it. You didn't study it. How'd you get started? Uh. I was building wheelchairs for a local wheelchair company, like working with Shriners and all that kind of stuff. And then I got a GoPro, I love playing with that kind of stuff. And then Mark Jensen, my first client, and, my first and your client first client, well, strangely enough. Um, needed a, a Kickstarter done through Robbie Morgan at, at Smiley P. So that was my first client. She kind of coached me through that process. We, we got it done and it was successful. Um, fast forward every six months for the next you know year and a half I did another Kickstarter one was Lex and Pasta, the next one was Mirror Twins Brewing. And then not last October, the October before that, started my first real estate client. And at the time I had a steady cam but it was holding a cell phone. <laughs> you know, a, a cheap steady cam for a cell phone. And I tried, you know, the stable cam for the, the DSLR and just and then found that other cam that I use now, the Osmo. And just working with that one realtor, I made one good introduction, and from there it was just boom. Yeah. Well, first of all, who knew Mark Jensen was such a patron of the video arts? Yes. So if you're, if you're a video guy and you're watching this, maybe hit up Mark Jensen. Yeah, he'll, he'll give you work. He probably Guaranteed he'll give you work. <laughs> Tell him he sent you. Um, so, uh, um, so get started that way, started doing video production and stuff. Um, I ask you this, we, we've had this conversation before, but if you're starting in Lexington as a video guy, what do you think the one, what do you need to have? What is the one trait that is essential to being able to survive in the video production business? Friends with small businesses that are willing to give you a chance. Okay. So networking kind of. Networking, yeah. And I, and I used to I used to tell people about you and they'd be like, so what about the Beard House guy? And I'd be like, I don't know, that's another friend. Um, <laughs> I'd say, he knows everybody. And, and so when you were, and, and. I had the luxury of working in the bars here growing yeah, up. Yeah, which, which, is, which is great. I've probably worked in every bar in this downtown, <laughs> but ever. To this day, if I friend somebody new on Facebook and the little list of mutual friends, your face is always there, or your logo is always there. Um, and so I used to complain about it. I was like, well, I've got, I've got a three-year-old at home. I can't go out and hobnob and hand, glad hand everybody like he is. Like, oh. And so that was, that was the story I used to tell myself about that. But, but so you so, so you got to know people. Everyone knows somebody. Like for me, you probably know a realtor. That's you know the same thing. If you, someone's starting out, say if they want to do a this and a different so I say everyone knows a realtor. Right. Everyone knows a, a, a person who owns a restaurant or works in a restaurant. So find those guys. And find those guys and buy them a beer. I've always said getting started is who you know. Like getting your foot in the door is who you know. Keeping your foot in there is the job you do. Correct. And how well you do. Yes. 100%. So obviously the real estate guys are really happy with the work you're doing. So it's it's a vault. <laughs> I go back and look at some of the first videos and they were, I, I, I actually called one of my first clients that I apologize for that first video I did for you. Yeah. You know, is that house still on the market so I can go reshoot it now? <laughs> I've done that before. I've called me as an apology, so it's, yeah. it's, it's humbling. Yeah. Um, one of the things I always ask people, I do, if I ask musicians, I ask them, who do, who do you like to listen to in town? I ask chefs, who do you like to eat in town? So I'll ask you, who do you think is doing a good video in town? Good video, there's a few. Yourself. Well, uh -huh. okay. you don't have to answer anymore. That was the point of the question. Done. So. Okay, move on. Um, Mike Wilkinson, Wilkinson yeah. Visuals. He does a lot of outdoor stuff, ice climbing stuff that I would not attempt anymore because the ice would break always. Um, Cornet Group always has some good stuff put out. They're advertising. But yeah, that's, there's some pretty good freelancers right here. Yeah. So uh, since you've spent years doing the food industry stuff too, I'll ask who you like to eat. We're in a cup of Commonwealth, so I'm here every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, this is coffee shops and bars that become your de facto yeah. offices. Uh, exactly. Um, I've been spending a lot of time here with Brewing because they have pizza over there for rolling oven. Gastronomes, yeah, okay. pretty pretty solid. Nom noms over there with their daily burger that's different. But yeah, that's. Otherwise, it's fast food because I'm on the road all the time, and yeah. I hate to say it. Well, it's a, it has become a food town, and between you and I, we're going to make a video town. So. This town loves its food and its booze yeah. more than anything else. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, man, uh, thank you for not agreeing to be the Lex Luthor to my Superman. Ditto. Of course, in that metaphor, I have to be Superman. Of course, yeah. But, uh, 
Appreciate it. Appreciate your time, man. Good to have you. Absolutely. Hey, Talk table. I'll shake your hand. <gasps> yeah, man. Appreciate it.